What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. Or yet again, more of Watch Me Suffer. So the round of where we left off, the French are attacking and my personal expectation is that I'll probably lose. Got a good, some good units left, but really it all depends on being able to uh, make a breach in our own walls. But if we do lose, it's not the end of the world and I'll expand on that later. But as it is, it's... <laughs> the outlook for this particular campaign is not looking good. Yes, we do. We have fixed the walls, which is a real bummer. So we need to deploy all our guns down. We need to deploy some of our smaller units in here. With cavalry spikes. Probably one over here as well. Let's deploy... Maybe no men on that section of the wall, because I'm about to destroy it. But let's... Pick up other sections, as well as... Getting in a position to guard... Territories I have. And let's leave our unit of cavalry out here. Okay, so my plan is... To blow as big a hole in the wall as I can, as quickly as I can. I may as well actually use you for something. Maybe like that. Get out of the way. So we need to take out... To be honest, doesn't really. I tried to make you guys run around, but it doesn't really matter if you take some hits. They're probably going to knock this wall down. Yeah, that's okay. If anything, I might actually put some speeding up because I really want to see this wall get opened up. Because unfortunately, I don't think we can. I'm losing a lot of shots. There's targets landing nearby. I may end up needing to deploy. Okay. Wow, this unit of marines I forgot about. Get them inside. Let's get my cavalry to work on these guerrilla mercenaries out on the flank. If these guys need to, they will they will attach plug bayonets to hold their position. Yeah, so they will not fire exactly where I want them to over the hill, so we need to fire at the base of our own wall. Well there, actually, our position is actually reversed it's actually gone quite well um but still like a breach for subsequent attacks i mean if this i mean if these guys if, if this campaign wins if we win this fight then uh, my plan for the campaign is completely scuppered i think my levels might be a bit no they seem okay I've turned them up a bit from the last battle, from the last recording session. But realistically, I want that breach. It may end up spawning the doom of me. But I think I can keep quick fire going enough to do damage. So let's get these guys into a building to provide some sort of fire support. But yeah, the reason why I wanted a breach was I wanted the AI to keep attacking. I wanted them to think they could win. Okay. 
You may not fire at will. So they should take a lot of canister shots. They're trying to take the the building, which probably will not work. Making the wave would have been nice. You guys commit to the guns. You guys get back, you guys take their position. Make sure my gunners aren't chasing them down. Cavalry over here. It's a bit dodgy, a bit dicey, but it looks like they're not really going to continue the push, so I might just keep my cavalry safe. They're continuing to do damage against this section of the wall, so I am tempted to just fall back from it. Garrison line is continuing to engage that line of infantry, which is pretty good. Just keep the gunners firing. Because they're coming back. Currently wavering, routing. Oh, I was so sure I'd lose this battle. I had a whole a whole plan. But here come the pikemen, so they might have something to say about it. should win this fight because we have cover. These guys are probably going to win this fight as well. They've got plenty of ammunition. They need to keep an eye on is this gatehouse. This building here. To be honest I might even just fall these men back. Because we've seen how they react to they just want to shoot at units on the walls, they're not actually trying to de destroy walls specifically. Mm, shaking again. keep my my marines out here just kind of shot straight at that new formation that's, form, that's formed up inside our walls and I could just smash my guys into them Set them to keep firing at the patch of ground. All one gun. So I'm trying to get an eye on what it is they're trying, their guns are trying to shoot at. I mean, if I set my guys to try and shoot at those guys, will they actually try? Not by the looks of it. This could be an interesting application of my small unit of cavalry. Because they have a general's unit and they've got some pikes. But can I get in there? Yeah, the pike units look like they're a bit bugged. So they're going to take their sweet time getting over here. That unit on the flank is going to rout because they've not got many men. So let's just gun my cavalry out of the guns. in order to get them to route. They formed a pike formation, which is nice. That's 
the gun is killed off. They routed. Let's run my cavalry back in, but judging by my experience of how the AI behaves, um, these guys may end up never attacking because they're all stationary. And to be honest, I'd be fine with that. Um, it would be nice to lure them into my cauldron, but they are melee infantry, so if they make it to my lines, which we've shown is definitely possible because of this long line of guns, they might just carve right through me. Although, actually, let's make these guys man the forward gun positions because those Swiss pikes are now in range. But let's keep firing at will off and on again to see if they will... So they've picked the guns up, but not as a target, although they definitely are within the, the angle. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to cut the recording here because nothing's probably going to happen for a while. So see you guys in a second. And we're back in the ball game. Whoops, that's my mouse. <laughs> so nothing really happened. Um, they just stayed where they were. I stayed where I was, and I was okay with that. Um, and in a very <laughs> surprise twist for myself, I um, actually won that battle with quite pretty low casualties. Um, but it does create more of a problem than solve one, because that will be a enemy force that runs around raiding our very limited economic lands, like that chap's about to do. So we end up getting into a problem where we can't actually afford the armies we need to defend them. Um, so, yeah, could be tricky. We do have a Spanish stack just outside the city. But we'll have to see how much money um, we actually have in the treasury. It certainly doesn't help that uh, Spain are raiding our territories because it does mean they will... Our capital will remain angry and I'll need to keep troops there to keep them occupied and keep them placated. And I won't also be able to send troops out to actually... Yes, I'm earning 900 a turn. We have placated the capital a bit. I'm going to win 1,000 next year, technically. Unless we can make... I mean, we're in... Spain's currently indifferent to us, and so is France. I can't give them money under any circumstances. The school would be a good one to fix because they're so far away. And let's also spend some money on expanding or building up some of our troops. Because right now, we do have quite a big money problem. So those are Spanish rebels, so they will eventually work their way back to us and we will fight them. This is a Spanish army. Well, pretty much, we need, we need to hold on while we can draw these ram raiding stacks towards us. That's the strategy, I think, for now. There's nothing I can really do from Malta itself. The French are going to go and continue raiding, and that's okay. Um, I just need to start slowly building up my, my economy in Madrid. Start to pick the pieces back up. The Barbary States are going to go raiding my capital, which is a shame, but I can't stop them because I don't have a navy. So what does that do to us economically? It doesn't really do anything. So we've got the school back. So the school can continue to work on improving our armed forces we have lost i think is the one of our happiness buildings got raided or is it oh, because it yeah because it's been raided so spain is unhappy again once more but it won't rebel thankfully we can continue to build up our 
relative strength. And probably pick some of the ter pick some of the industries to rebuild that are further away. We don't need artillery. We don't care about naval research, so that's not a problem. We don't really want to invest in roads and speed up their ability to transverse the landscape. Or traverse the landscape, I should say. Let's keep an eye on what they do. Because I can't fix them, sadly. I can fix the farm. I can also fix this vineyard. I suspect the French are going to go down to raid Cartagena. So I could probably get away with doing a bit of that. Maybe a bit of that, because they are so cheap to repair. I um, absolutely cannot research any of the um, social, socially beneficial policies, because that will just increase unrest. What I really need is Spain to chill out. And hopefully, the French will do what the British have done. They will sit in one position and leave me alone. Because the Brits have landed in the port and they have left me alone, largely. And that will give me time to push outward. And I may even be able to develop um, the capacity to recruit some militia. A militia isn't great, but I've not got a good army as, as it is, so militia will have to do. And thank gods for the Italian states, although I suspect the Barbary states will come right back. Yep, there they are. <laughs> yeah, can't be helped, but at the very least I'm not depending on that income from the, uh, from the trade. Now they're unhappy again, so we need to quickly rebuild the college. See, we're down to 700 because of the raiding. And we cannot. You're very broken. You're fixed. I can't fix you. Not with this cash. Hmm. There is an argument to pushing out and attacking the, the rebels. There definitely is an argument for that. Let's just keep trying to peace out with someone. Because it is worth doing, because sometimes the AI just decides that they want to make peace. Um, okay, let's hit end turn again. Yeah, there's, in the grand scheme, there's not, a lot, there's not a lot I can do until the Spanish pirates push back towards the city realistically fortunately no one will be able to get to the school before they research plug bayonets so my men at least don't have to decide whether or not to equip bayonets i'm curious at what point i develop um more of a garrison in madrid organically because it's not down to the population towing the line, because they've they've never really... Well, even when they've been okay with me, I've not really got that much of a garrison out of them. I'm probably going to get some complaints from the Spanish. But I have fixed the Jesuit college. That's temporarily fixed my problem by getting religious happiness back. 2,000. The Barbary States did not reoccupy my city. Okay. So we currently get no garrison from Madrid. And militia take 170 to recruit or to sustain. But I will need to sustain them because I need to take out... Actually, is that the... Spanish rebels, they've lost a bunch of their rebel strength, I suppose, because the population's come under, or is coming under my power. So actually, this is going to be more manageable than I thought. One more turn, I'll get us bayonets. Hopefully, these guys will head back towards us. 
and where we can destroy them much more easily. Let's hit end turn. Okay, we're going to have to sally, and that's okay, because we've got artillery and they don't. So I can afford to position artillery in front of the walls and have my militia man the cannons on the wall behind them. I would like to kill them utterly, but I'm probably not going to be able to, but I will take damaging them severely. Because the more I can chip away at them, the more I can rebuild my territory and then move pockets of troops out to engage the enemy. But right now, things are very, very delicate. states have not gone after us again I think because the Brits are so close what I'm actually tempted to do is okay because I've turned my actual sound my voice up I'm going to turn the associated volume my master volume up and turn the effects down because they're what deafen me in the battles whereas background music and stuff is fine I am conscious of as I turn my microphone up my fans go my fans get um, louder okay so let's take the army did I get a hey I actually got a garrison line unit and I, why did I not hmm. well either way actually let's check okay you can now start to research I mean, you may as well work, keep working down the military angle because there's no point upgrading my industry because it's just getting raided. Let's take my army. And let's sally out against the French invader. But yeah, you've seen how that Spanish stack at the, in the northeast has just stayed still. I'm hoping if I damage the Spanish enough, the French enough, that's what they'll do. But I'm also mightily cognizant of the fact that any one of those factions can be generating another army against me. Oh no, the cursed mortars. Mortars up front. Let's deploy a set of guns. Um, it would still be nice to, to actually gain some artillery from back here. As non-ideal as it is, because I would rather have them I suppose maybe plonking the marines down here might not be a bad idea. They might not get as many guns, but I st it still means I can maximise uh, muskets down on the floor. Okie dokie, let's deploy you guys. At least we've now got bayonets and can form square. That's something at least. And we've got canister shot. Okay, let's group two units on the flank here. Let's group you guys. Stretch out on the flank, but you are marines, so you should be able to handle it more. Mortars are up front, so is our cavalry. It might seem a bit of a waste to put marines up here, but pair of guns is very useful. We've got our suicidal awful mortars out here to try and contribute. But let's pick our targets. So you want to go after both these regiments because they're a bit more elite. You guys want to go for maybe the Swiss Pikes? We do have a regiment on the flank. I do have to be aware of them. Move my general out to try and see if I can intercept their general. And let's also pivot my flank here. That would be a great chance to shoot at 
Gold Police Regiment. Actually, maybe she got the 81st because they're almost flying calm. Misses. You're going to have to limber up. Because we can't allow the enemy to avoid such a large portion of our firepower. Which is what they seem to be attempting to do. Probably to get away from my guys up here. So speed up time. So I'm also going to limber up my artillery and decline to give them a simple target to uh, engage me. To in a simple vector for them to attack my forces by picking away at the flank. Okay, now you guys can... Probably try pick up one of the guns on the flank, maybe? Technically, as much as these guys don't want to, it feels like they probably have to attack me. They don't want to, and in order to win the game they don't have to, but why would I give up an artillery advantage? Let's get you guys onto these guns instead. Then they can fire laterally into the attacking enemy force. There you go. Fire off canister shot. I suppose technically these still might have been the better guns. Let's put them there. There we go. The battle lines have been drawn. Start to roll the flank up. If these guys want to move, my general will be ready to counter them. I want to take out the pikemen because they're the ones I'm most concerned about. Marines are taking secondary damage. Let's run my cavalry through to threaten their general. Kick their pipe into here. Oh, please, if I can make them waver, that would be perfect. Hit them with my cavalry. That then means these guys can spin around to engage the flanks. My artillery can stay where they are and they can hit this infantry behind the wall. Good, so let's knock out these pikemen and make them make them shatter, preferably. It's my suicidal mortars again. Just shoot with the guys at the back. Yeah, they shattered, they ain't coming back. Okay. Let's take my cavalry and hit this regiment because they get some nice natural hits onto them. They're broken. So 
This regiment isn't shattered, so it's something to bear in mind. I want my general to keep going after units to try to kill them. Just be time a little bit. Good. Kill the pikes. They did come back. Okay, now two to hit the big unit. Not the big unit, the uh, strong unit, the capable unit. Probably garrison this section of the walls to pour fire onto the 24th, who are getting a bit of a free reign. They fall the square, so ignore them. Let's bring my general back to threaten this formation. You are pounding them, aren't you? Yep, they've also started moving out in response to my cavalry. Now charge the 13th, because they've decided to stand up the fight. I'm surprised you can't shoot them, but okay. Hidden unit of guerrilla mercenaries out to the rear. safe. Not allow them to get flanking shots off of me, off at me. We're not doing damage, we've got to make sure we don't lose it. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I say it. Um, not that I'm massively concerned about it. Because realistically we're actually doing pretty good. We I mean, know. One of our units is wavering, but we've got a unit of marines in reserve. I mean, this unit is... Whoa. This unit is missing its artillery pretty epically. Let's go back to canister shot. Let's bring the cavalry back out again. Go after the strongest unit. I'm curious if I've got the strength to go after the general. Let's keep the marines and let's just push these units all up to engage him. Let's keep the artillery firing out these units to the rear. If I go after their general, let's keep my demi cannons engaging with canister shots at the 22nd. No, ignore the general. I did right click to attack you, but yes, please ignore them. Go after Bulky's regiment. wavering because of my silly mortars. Should be okay now I've ceased fire. These guys are going to get some lovely shots into the first and make them rout. I'm going to kill the pikes and we're about to kill off Second infantry regiment. Generals routing. Let's send our men to chase down those chaps. First regiment is broken. Let's spin them around to immediately face these guerrilla mercenaries. Let these guys shoot a little bit more. See if they can make the first shatter.
because they politely just reform and come back. Yep, yeah, there they go. So let's file up the form up here. So I can get my artillery to bear. Cavalry is probably going to fail to kill this unit before it routes. Yeah, there we go. So I'm playing this at fast speed because there's not a super amount of need to play this slowly. Ah, I see you. This stronger regiment has actually come back. Deploy the cavalry. Hold fire the artillery. Because the artillery is not going to be able to help against this unit, but we can still bring troops to bear. We can help. Good stuff. Let me speed up time a little bit. Just keep killing them. It's probably just going to go to maximum speed. They're probably going to rout. I'm hoping I can kill these guys and then head to try kill the 22nd. Absolutely continue. Good. Try to intercept the 22nd before they successfully make it. We probably won't kill them all, but I'll accept a devastating charge. Slice. Come on, my boys. Yeah, they did some good damage. Um, we lost more men than I would like, but I think it was an acceptable trade. Because, yeah, they've gone from 1,800 down to 300 men. So now if any of these raiding troops come within range of my city we can take them out and the time we've got to rebuild are just extra turns that our um, resistance to foreign occupation goes down and things start to go in our favour hmm. is there anything that's immediately useful I guess Empiricism is a good idea because it doesn't upset political problems or political. Or oh, doesn't it could contribute to clamour for reform? Uh, physiocracy might actually be a good idea to get the just the cross cut bonuses to wealth. Okay, let's hit end turn. Because now some of these forces are sufficiently small, I don't have to send my entire army out to them in order to do damage. That was my main goal. I could send a strong force to go after them, but still leave something to defend the capital, so it's not an instant victory. I could probably do with some more cavalry. God, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so surprised I won that first battle, because I literally played a different Knights of St. John campaign, and I played it for about 120 turns, I think. Um, it was quite fascinating, really, because my plan was that, obviously, I assumed this was going to be a bust. Rome was a bust. Attacking Tripoli got the Ottomans to attack me, but my strategy in my other campaign, which I've got a save file for, and it's gone quite well, um, was I took Tunis, and I resolved to not take Tripoli at all. Because I thought, if I don't have a border of the AI, it's less bothered about trying to kill me. And I was right. I took Tunis and Algiers, and I burnt loads of turns to get towns, and then upgrading them with religious buildings. And they started to generate, actually, quite a decent amount of money. Um, but of course, I can't actually use that strategy now, because, you know, everything's working. 
seemingly. Um, okay, back to Madrid. So we're growing our army. Let's spend some money rebuilding him. Because these guys are pretty damaged. These are these are the rebels. Yeah, these are the rebels. They seem to fluctuate in strength, but they will just keep getting better and better. The French, they're done for. It's mainly infantry I want. Infantry can stand a post, hold ground, do what I need it to do. I think that's a good idea. I could probably stretch to repairing these. Because the Spanish seem quite happy with sitting up here. Okay, let's... Okay. So we're growing militia. Growing our militia forces. Ideally, we can get to a point where we can knock Spain out completely, but we'll have to worry about that until we get there. The trouble is, is they still own Milan, and that's the one we can't really get to. We can get to Naples, we can get to Sicily, but we can't easily get to the one in northern Italy. Usually it gets conquered by an Italian power, which I hope happens here. Um, I think it's quite amusing, really, that the Brits are at war with me. They're set outside my port, which means... The Barbary states can't send ships to blockade me because otherwise the Brits will attack them. So they're my enemy, but they're now pretty much protecting my port from the Barbary states. Although I think the Barbary states are sending ships in, but they're dying. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, numbers are a bit dodgy. Thank God we got the militia anything I might deploy outside of the walls <laughs> put my weak units on top the walls deploy my artillery outside have a militia front line it's probably a good idea actually I don't want them charging up to attack me because I've most of my men are pretty pants so we've got no holes so I probably do just want to go take my strongest units, including my militia, hunker down outside, take this other unit of militia. these remaining units that are strong they're not bad units well okay they're pretty bad okay let's put my infantry here let's put this unit of marines to take these guns that's actually a fairly handy unit of marines and this unit of line infantry can try and take the guns and my cavalry will deploy outside time let's allow the miscreants to get closer to us we've killed their general and he's off <laughs> well there we go switch to kind of shot preemptively we start to do damage good damage to these regiments let's probably put my my marines out on this flank. Get ready with my cavalry to deploy. Go, 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 go. That unit's incredibly weak. Well, it's not incredibly weak, sorry. It's incredibly strong. Which is why trying to mow them down now would be perfect. So we are going to go in for a bayonet charge. Which is like the last thing I wanted to do. So the militia can join them. You guys can stop firing. 
this line infantry can join them. Absolutely continue. Trouble is, I don't know quite what the best option is. Okay, you, you're pretty much down to nothing. Let's go knock out this other unit of line infantry down. So I think it's probably better to have multiple units at low strength rather than a few at high strength. Then again... Huh. Please, please say we've killed them. Please say they're gone. No! Damn it! But that's okay. Okay, so we've got... We have actually got armies now. Well, armies, sort of. Okay, let's take... No, first, actually, I do want to get some cavalry. Then we can go and mop up. Definitely these armies, then hopefully this guy up in Barcelona. It's not repair anything just yet. I mean, I might actually do some of these easy repairs in my city, because I may as well. Okay, you keep researching. But hopefully... Well, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling... I mean, if I tell you guys I was stressed um, about this campaign, especially because it, it was the one I had the most problems with, I do not like all those Prussian troops. Fortunately, it looks like they're going for France. They're not going for me. So that's okay. But, yeah, my Italian campaign, I'm now st it's stable. My Ottoman campaign stable. Um, my Louisiana campaign is now stable. This is the only one I've got that's not requires thought, but damn, it's nice to have a stable base for a campaign and not have to, you know, every turn worry. God, the Barbary States are picking apart the British fleet, slowly but surely. I'm going to fight it myself, obviously, to minimise my own losses. But we could be at the point where we no longer have a... Spanish rebel army. Similar drill, although we are now much stronger. Central position, on the map. Pick uh, two units to go out on the flank, so we can have some militia on the walls. And I've also got a really weak unit of marines. You can just stand and look pretty. I will off. Same again, please, my lord. There goes the artillery. General's dead in the first shot again. <laughs> There's one guy left in that gun team. And he's off. But this is good stuff. Hope you don't mind playing this and fast forward. Mainly because there's not really much need until things get closer. Soria, we've had enough. The Irish Regiment has got strength back. Yep, they've all. 
they're all broken. Let's try to get the artillery to focus on armies I'm not bothered about, or units I'm not bothered about. Although I'd probably rather go for... Could they, eh. Okay, let's go for the regiment, or the Irish regiment. Actually, let's go for... Uh, let's go for the Irish regiment, because it looks like they do grow in strength still. Um, without being destroyed. So let's actually prosecute this stronger unit until they're gone. Let's try and get this Regimento de Soria. It's only 51 men strong. They are spread out, so we're not going to kill them all. But we can do a lot of damage. Actually, let's just hold the artillery fire. I'm not. I'm really not bothered about microing the cavalry around to get the best deal. Okay, we lost six men. They lost half their men. They didn't kill a single one, so that's friendly fire that killed us. Yep. So they're running around. Raiding like the little scamps they are. Okay, that's quite a big army now. For, compared to what we had. It's big enough. I think we could probably... Send some of them out. To take out some bad guys. So let's leave... Two marines, two militia, two line infantry and a cavalry inside the town let's go finish off these spanish rebels for good then the next target will be the french occupying our port then we will go north or do we go south do we try and take gibraltar secure our southern flank it's an interesting proposal because it also means that we can protect um Malta from any offensive operations that people might want to mount through the Strait of Gibraltar if we get a good navy. No clever strategy needed. Just march up. Guns are all probably going to aim at the Sakers anyway, but I'm going to make sure of it. Although they're not firing. Can't aim at the Sakers apparently, but they can hit Regimento de Soria to the rear. Fire! Oops, sound bug. Here come the guns. Excellent hits. Bit. The aim of the game is to destroy as many. Oh, the reason why. So the one man they've got is the guy leading the horse team. And it's also their leader. keep the cavalry moving on so we are going to take some casualties because obviously I'm advancing into the enemy fire but realistically I think it's probably the better thing to do stupid sound bugs fire awesome Militia who got a volley in the face. You guys get the hell out of the way before you get a volley in the back. Let's just stop the artillery fire now. These guys right at the back, they can keep firing. They're probably going to hit the uh, 
the artillery anyway. If not, we'll chase him down anyway with our cavalry. Just aim. He's dead anyway. Absolutely continue. These are rebels. Oh, damn. Some of them have got away, but hopefully that doesn't mean they've actually escaped on the campaign map. Hurrah! And we have money to replenish our forces. Avanti. Okay, now let's do some replenishment. Some repairs. We may even get to build roads now. I've got a gentleman in here. He's going to work so at our school. Ah. Excellent. So, what, so have they blockaded us now? Or is that our army coming in? Yep, that's our army size kicking in. But I'm hoping some of this tax income is going to help out. Although the Brits have now left our port. I mean, yes, I'm going to intercept. <laughs> They've replenished their forces. Um, but we have artillery and a bucket load of infantry. And we've got good cavalry to smash theirs. The reason why I'm reluctant to push north is I don't want to trigger the French to send another army after us. I'm hoping, actually, after I cleanse this army from my territory to try and sue for peace. That would be my hope. So our infantry isn't as good as theirs in general. We got artillery, and they don't. So we have the advantage. Even if our first volley killed one guy from the 20th Regiment. So I'm going to move my cavalry wide in order to a to get into a position to flank and also maybe kill their general yeah these gunners are doing a really bad job Just aim for their general if he's going to run first towards our guns you're probably going to be okay there okay now let's bring our cavalry in. Switch to canister shot because they're, they're roughly getting close enough. Yeah, you're going to be able to shoot at the first. So these are all like special line regiments. Because they've got that Le 24 Regiment de la Reine. De la Reine run. Whereas, oh man, and militias. Good. New men aren't firing, so you're going to pivot. Let's get some good flanking shots off. I don't hit their lines, I want to do as much damage as I can with gunfire first. Big blast, the big hole in the centre of the 20th. They're winning, the infantry on the, on the left is winning slightly, but when our militia should certainly help. Even the odds. Back. Let's send the second regiment to go take out the general's bodyguard. With the hope of trying to kill the general. So we will lose men doing this. 
done, but I think in the grand scheme it's going to be... We're going to recover more so than the French from this. The general is being dismembered by Maltese cavalry. So let's pivot my infantry. So they don't interfere with my destruction of that infantry unit. Let's see if we can kill the general if he's within our grasp somewhere. He's very much an optional extra. No, that's not him. Yeah, he's going to escape. That's fine. I want the infantry. That's what I want. go specifically to try and kill the units. It looks like we might actually... Okay, let's send this guy to go chase down the bigger unit. Good stuff. The only man they have left is the general and his own personal aide. Spain has been cleansed, kind of. That is lovely. Yep, their army's moving down from the north. Uh, Prussia does... does make me uncomfortable. But at the same time, if it makes me uncomfortable, hopefully it's making the French uncomfortable. That's at least a useful byproduct, if you like. Don't worry, Portugal. I'm not going to attack you yet. Yep, Barbary States have started their regular programming, so we may end up going in a slight deficit. <gasps> Peace. Yes, please. <laughs> they usually give you peace in the end. Good. So this army, you build your strength. Who is part of this force? A bunch of natives and basic infantry. Okay, let's repair the port. Spend a bit more cash on replenishing you guys. Yeah, because they are building an army. Thankfully, it's mostly guerrillas. But we do need to go south, knock out Churchill, take Gibraltar, and then we'll have this territory under our grasp. Lovely stuff. One turn we'll get some good economy boosts. Although it's tempting to knock this building down and replace it with a fishing port because you can get up to fourth rates fairly quickly without having to... Then again, I do have a shipyard which I can't build anything in, but... Hmm. But, looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this special. It's been as surprising to me as it hopefully has been to you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.